It started with my right hand and it would just shake and then it progressed to the other hand. The doc said it was Parkinson's. I was sad, scared, not, not knowing much about Parkinson's. I just knew that it was a bad, a bad disease. I couldn't eat because I couldn't hold the fork. The holding cups it would shake and I'm not driving anymore right now. I lost my independence. It, it, this makes me feel useless. Essentially with dystonia, Parkinson's disease, and essential tremor, there is a bad signal coming out of the brain. It's just misfiring. And essentially what you do is you kind of jam that bad signal so that the good signal can kind of go and so you can have the normal movements. We predominantly use deep brain stimulation surgery. That's a surgery where a very fine electrode is implanted through a very sophisticated and targeted method to a very specific part of the brain. And that allows us to relieve the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, to relieve some of the disability associated with tremor and with dystonia, among other disorders. At the turn-on session, the symptoms will begin to improve, usually within minutes. There will be some further improvement over the next one to two months as the device is fine-tuned using a non-invasive remote control technique to get the best possible result for their symptoms. I have a mother who had a stroke and had movement disorder type symptoms, and so that's kind of why I went into this specific field, because I want to help improve quality of life, and we can do that. Uh, in so many ways, and that's really, really important to me and to my patients. When you have that degree of gap from what how you were doing to how you're doing after turn on, you're bound to do extremely well with DBS. So she's she's headed for a very good outcome.